Queen Victoria Market, Friends Group launches its alternative to council plan opponents of Melbourne City Council's plans to spend $250 million renovating the Queen Victoria Market have released their own design to overhaul the site. Lobby group Friends of Queen Victoria Market on Thursday morning unveiled their uncoasted plans for the market revamp that include an elevated green space on top of the existing parking area and retaining its heritage shed spokesman Phil Cleary, who ran against Lord Mayor Robert Doyle at last year's council elections, said the plans by Melbourne architect John McNabb were more respectful of the market's character and heritage than those offered by the city. City Council. The Andrews government last month signed off on a plan by Melbourne City Council to allow the developer it has selected, PDG, to build a 42-level tower on land the council owns across the road from the market's deli. Alongside that tower another of around 30 stories will be built featuring community services and affordable housing The council will also transform the market's above-ground car park on top of what was once thousands of settlers' graves into a 1.5 hectare market square. Car parking would be moved to beneath the new tower on the corner of Queen and Ferry Streets. Under an agreement with the state government, struck in 2014 but renewed in 2015, apartments would also be built on the side of the Franklin Street storage sheds Queen Victoria Market has traded continuously since 1878 and now attracts 9.5 million visitors a year. But parts of the market are in need of refurbishment the council also wants to temporarily remove the market's heritage sheds dig an underground services area for food and goods storage, and put the restored sheds back in place. Many market traders are opposed to this because it might hurt their business Mr. Cleary said the friends of Queen Victoria market plan have no destructive excavation and no ripping up of these heritage sheds. And Mr. McNabb's design for a new elevated green space on top of the existing parking area would add both car parking and parkland, Mr. Cleary said. Our plan must be accepted by the Andrews government, Mr. Cleary said. And if they do, they will win the hearts and minds of the stallholders and the thousands of people across Victoria who are passionately opposed to the destructive strategy of Melbourne City Council.